happy people. So hope you guys are doing fantastic today. We are so excited. We are going to be taking you on a tour of Eielson Air Force Base. We are partnering with them. Colonel Ingram has invited us out to be able to give an inside look at the operation, the mission of what Eielson Air Force Base is. Wanted to be able to give you guys of what it is like at a military base here in Alaska, and it's also gonna give us inside look what military life is. I am from a military family. My dad was in the Air Force, he retired here, and my mom is now currently serving in the Air National Guard. Kind of share with you guys this information because we know a lot of our viewers are people that are getting ready to move to Alaska and travel here. So, we wanted to kind of let you know what you're gonna see before you get here. Let's go and give you guys a tour. Okay, so we're here at the Gold Rush Inn. This is essentially maybe a older term or whatnot, but the billetin basically that is here on base. So it's a essentially like a military hotel. You'd first come when you'd get here, you'd check in if you didn't have any housing or um, bought a home before you got here, you would come here, get your room, get your keys. We're gonna go take a look at the, one of the rooms that you could be possibly staying at. They've got one ready for us to go take a peek at. Welcome to the Gold Rush Inn. We offer 464 rooms available. We got 38 mega TLF properties, including 12 DB suites at a convenient rate prices. Besides that, we offered a big sundry storeroom that we have here available 24 seven, offering foods, goodies, and anything that you need over the counter items. Okay, so this is a TLF unit. So basically that this is a place where families would come and stay there when they're just getting here or when they're getting ready to PCS out. Uh, this is a ranch style home. They also do offer a three story home that's available. Generally you stay here for about 30 days or so you can extend if need be then it's basically first available is kind of a list that you'd go on to be ready for housing here on base or if you're gonna go find a house in like the North Pole area or Fairbanks area as you can see this is an extremely spacious unit um, looks to be about a three bedroom home with two bathrooms a laundry room kitchen it's beautiful. This is where you'd stay if you were just getting here, you're waiting for your home, and you are a family. Okay, so now I'm here at the Corvius Community Center, and this is a good place to come for any housing questions. These are the guys that will get you houses here on base. They are a privatized company. Corvius Community Center is where you wanna go. Let's go check it out. So if you do decide to live on base, this is kind of one of the facilities that you could possibly end up in. Um, there is a BAH allotment here um, for Alaska. It is actually quite higher um, than some of the other parts of the United States. If you decide not to live on base, you would go into the surrounding area and you would be offered that BAH. Um, but this is some of the facilities that you could transfer it into or whatnot for your duration if you decided to live here on base. Okay guys, this is pretty neat. We actually ran into one of our happy peoples here and she lives on base and she invited us to come and take a look at the inside of her house. So I'm gonna be able to take you in, let you see like one of these housing units and what is actually inside. Let's go check it out. So everyone, this is Caitlin. She's been so kind to show us the inside of her house. What made you decide to live on base as opposed to off base? For one, it's our first duty station. So we weren't familiar with the area and we didn't want to just go out and move off base and be really unfamiliar, especially with all of the snow. Like we are not used to that. We are from the south. We don't get any of that there. So we definitely wanted the experience of living on base and so far we really enjoy it. How did you go about getting your housing? Like how was that process? Uh, husband got his orders for us to come here. Um, that's when he kind of did all of the paperwork for all of that. And then once we got our assignment to here, that's when we started the process of applying for housing and getting on the wait list. Us, we had a phenomenal experience. It was great. Corvius was so helpful on everything. They answered all of my questions. They sent us pictures of our house. We were currently in Texas uh, when we got assigned to this house. I fell in love with it from the very beginning. I, I love this house. It's awesome. 
This is another um, housing option for the officers who decide to live on base. They have these beautiful little homes here um, with actually a fairly decent amount of property that's kind of next to them where they're not super, super close. So this is one of the other areas that you could live if you're an officer. The buildings you see behind me are like essentially the dormitory area. Um, this is where basically all the single airmen tend to come and there are tons of these buildings. I, I believe they're a fairly new facility and uh, they look great. If you're a single airman, this is where you're going to be. Okay, now this is the gym facility that they have here on Isleson and oh my goodness, this gym is fantastic. They have this full-size indoor soccer field, a full-size track that you can see that people are running on up here. Tons and tons of weights and cardio machines and I, I'll just show you. It, it is fantastic. This place is amazing, especially in the winter time when you are stuck in the house a lot of times, there's not a whole lot else to do. This facility is fantastic. This is a pretty cool area. Um, for all you mamas that are coming with kiddos or that you are here and you have kiddos, they have a little station where moms can work out and then you can drop your kiddos off in the little, little kid area, which is so, so stinking cool. Okay, so this is the Child Development Center, CDC. They have a really, really great facility here. Their max capacity is about 150 kids. Um, they're planning for the big influx of people, so they're already starting to staff people, starting to expand a little bit, so they are preparing. Um, super, super cute facility. I think it's great. Um, they can have kiddos come in from two weeks all the way up to five years old, so either both parents have to be working or a parent needs to be working and the other spouse needs to be in school. This can range between $70 to $160 a week, depending on rank. Um, and they just, they're just really great staff and they're wonderful ladies that work here. It's a really, really great option for those military folks that, that mom and dad do both have to work. So at least you have a place that you can kind of bring them and they're taken care of. So. They also have a coffee hut. So here on Isle Sin, they actually have two elementary schools, Anderson and Crawford, and they also have a junior and senior high school, Ben Isle Sin. Amongst those schools, there is also a youth center, which is kind of neat and has a lot of fun activities in it. They also have a chapel here on Isle Sin Air Force Base, and there's kind of some uniqueness here to this chapel. Um, it is a multi-faith chapel, so regardless really of what your religion is, you can come here, worship here, um, be welcome here. The primary services that they do offer is a Protestant service and also a Catholic service. A really great facility. Actually one of the chaplains was telling me this is the newest chapel that is in the military to date. So it is very, very nice. If you are looking for a church, this might be a good option. Alrighty, and of course you've got your commissary here on Isle Sin. Great selection, um, a lot of fresh produce, which is great. Very competitive prices, so yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, and of course they're gonna have a exchange, or grew up knowing it as, is the BX. This place is pretty fantastic. They have everything. Okay, so you've got a GNC. You've got a food court that's over here that has like four or five different restaurants. You have an outdoor living place where you can go and get like your barbecues and all that jazz. You have a barber shop that you can go get your awesome, that I'm partial to, the military haircut. They also have a place where you can get your alterations done for all your uniforms.
their own bowling alley here. They have a very, very new facility and they do a little fun thing on Wednesday nights called Trivia Night. And this place, I've heard, gets very, very busy. They like the trivia. So there are quite a few eating establishments here on Eielson Air Force Base. Them is the Yukon Club. They offer like sit-down meals and they also offer kind of like your fast food type that you can just grab, go in, grab, and go. They even have a movie theater, guys, where you can come, watch some shows, they're free, and just say another fun family activity. Okay, so now I'm inside the Eielson Community Center, and holy moly, this place is fantastic. If you ever need a place to go in the dead of winter, get your kiddos out of the house, this is not a bad place to come. And look at this ingenious idea. Workout equipment inside the community center. That is an ingenious idea for mamas who want to come, let their kiddos play, and get a workout in. Awesome. We have party rooms that are available. Everything is free here. If you wanted to check out something, like if you wanted to get a game or something for like ice hockey, like the little handles or whatnot, you just go to the desk and check it out. So fantastic. My kiddos are gonna have fun. Right underneath the Eielson Community Center is a library and it is stocked full of tons and tons of books. Um, they actually even do events here some of the times. I know they did like a Comic Con at one point and that was a huge hit. It's just a really, really nice environment. So they have books, they have magazines, they have DVDs that you can check out. A great place to come and study and just relax. Another great thing to do, especially during the winters, get your kiddos out and come to the library. Enjoy this tour of Eielson Air Force Base. I know we sure did. We learned a lot. We got to see some jets up close and personal, which I know my husband thoroughly enjoyed. Big thank you to Colonel Ingram for setting this up for us. And a huge thank you goes out to Wendy Brandon, who basically took us around everywhere. She was just great. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your military friends if you know that they are coming to Alaska. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. Bye.